시청자 여러분 안녕하십니까 토코TV의 PLPSE Perfect Listen, Perfect Speaks English 입니다 PLPSE를 만들고 가장 많은 혜택을 보는 사람이 누구냐고요 That's me 바로 접니다 토코TV 2012년부터 멋모르고 유튜브에 동영상을 올리기 시작했죠 그 숫자가 무려 한 1000개 정도는 됐는데요 그때 올린 게 주로 영어 성경, 물론 셀프 잉글리시죠. 제가 원어민 없이 한 건데요. 타인 동영상 시청 시 댓글에 영어 성경 동영상 주소를 거기다 못 모르고 올린 겁니다. 자, 이게 유튜브 정체 기반이라고 해서 1개월 정지를 먹었습니다. 저는 그래서 화가 나기 때문에 전부 지워버렸죠. 에, 그대로 여는 게 됐으면 지금 한 1,400개 정도가 이제 넘는 건데요. 그때만 해도 유튜브 하면은 이제 광고 수입이라든지 생기고 계정이라든지 이런 개념을 잘 몰랐어요. 그리고 기술 개발이 안 됐던 때라 천개 정도 자동 삭제한 거 전혀 후회하지 않습니다. 자, 기술적으로 완성이 안된 프로그램이라 이제 없애고 새로 하길 잘했다 이런 생각이 드는데요. 자, 2015년에 중단하고 블로그를 배워서 이거를 키워오다가 2017년 남들이 유튜브 해가지고 성공을 거두고 있다 그런 사례들이 있고 유튜브 붐이 일어나는 걸 보고 다시 계정을 만들어 출발해서 현재 이르러 있고요 430개 동영상을 업로드 했습니다 자 기술적 완성도와 더불어 프로그램까지 특화되어 유저들 특히 영어를 배우려는 매니아들에게 재능 기부를 하고 있어서 정말 저도 상당히 기쁩니다 얼마나 프로그램에 자신이 있으면 한국인 모두가 영어가 되는 게 소원입니다를 제가 외치겠습니까? 여러분 감사합니다. X25. Now three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up to Jerusalem from Caesarea, and the chief. Acts 25. Now three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up to Jerusalem from Caesarea, and the chief. Acts 25. Now three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up to Jerusalem from Caesarea, and the chief. Acts 25. Now three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up to Jerusalem from Caesarea, and the chief. Acts 25. Now three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up to Jerusalem from Caesarea, and the chief and the chief priests and the principal men of the Jews laid out their case against Paul, and they urged him. And the chief priests and the principal men of the Jews laid out their case against Paul, and they urged him. And the chief priests and the principal men of the Jews laid out their case against Paul, and they urged him. And the chief priests and the principal men of the Jews laid out their case against Paul, and they urged him. And the chief priests and the principal men of the Jews laid out their case against Paul, and they urged him, asking as a favor against Paul that he summon him to Jerusalem because they were planning an ambush to kill him on the way. Asking as a favor against Paul that he summon him to Jerusalem because they were planning an ambush to kill him on the way. Asking as a favor against Paul that he summon him to Jerusalem because they were planning an ambush to kill him on the way. Asking as a favor against Paul that he summon him to Jerusalem because they were planning an ambush to kill him on the way. Asking as a favor against Paul that he summon him to Jerusalem because they were planning an ambush to kill him on the way. Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea and that. He himself intended to go there shortly. So Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea, and that he himself intended to go there shortly. So Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea, and that he himself intended to go there shortly. So Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea, and that he himself intended to go there shortly. So 
Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea and that he himself intended to go there shortly. So, oh, said he, let the men of authority among you go down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them bring charges against him. So, oh, said he, let the men of authority among you go down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them bring charges against him. So, oh, said he, let the men of authority among you go down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them bring charges against him. So, oh, said he, let the men of authority among you go down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them bring charges against him. So, oh, said he, let the men of authority among you go down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them bring charges against him. After he stayed among them not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea, and the next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. After he stayed among them not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea, and the next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. After he stayed among them not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea, and the next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. After he stayed among them not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea, and the next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. After he stayed among them not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea, and the next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. When he had arrived, the Jews who had come down from Jerusalem stood around him, bringing many and serious charges against him that they could not prove. When he had arrived, the Jews who had come down from Jerusalem stood around him, bringing many and serious charges against him that they could not prove. When he had arrived, the Jews who had come down from Jerusalem stood around him, bringing many and serious charges against him that they could not prove. When he had arrived, the Jews who had come down from Jerusalem stood around him, bringing many and serious charges against him that they could not prove. When he had arrived, the Jews who had come down from Jerusalem stood around him, bringing many and serious charges against him that they could not prove. Paul argued in his defense, neither against the law of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor against Caesar, have I committed any offense. Paul argued in his defense, neither against the law of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor against Caesar, have I committed any offense. Paul argued in his defense, neither against the law of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor against Caesar, have I committed any offense. Paul argued in his defense, neither against the law of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor against Caesar, have I committed any offense. Paul argued in his defense, neither against the law of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor against Caesar, have I committed any offense. But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, said to Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem, and there be tried on these charges before me? But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, said to Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem, and there be tried on these charges before me? But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, said to Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem, and there be tried on these charges before me? But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, said to Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem, and there be tried on these charges before me? But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, said to Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem, and there be tried on these charges before me? But Paul said, I am standing before Caesar's tribunal, where I ought to be tried. To the Jews I have done no wrong, as you yourselves know very well. But Paul said, I am standing before Caesar's tribunal, 
where I ought to be tried. To the Jews I have done no wrong, as you yourselves know very well. But Paul said, I am standing before Caesar's tribunal, where I ought to be tried. To the Jews I have done no wrong, as you yourselves know very well. But Paul said, I am standing before Caesar's tribunal, where I ought to be tried. To the Jews I have done no wrong, as you yourselves know very well. But Paul said, I am standing before Caesar's tribunal, where I ought to be tried. To the Jews I have done no wrong, as you yourselves know very well. If then I am a wrongdoer, and have committed anything for which I deserve to die, I do not seek to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can give me up to them. I appeal to Caesar. If then I am a wrongdoer, and have committed anything for which I deserve to die, I do not seek to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can give me up to them. I appeal to Caesar. If then I am a wrongdoer, and have committed anything for which I deserve to die, I do not seek to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can give me up to them. I appeal to Caesar. If then I am a wrongdoer, and have committed anything for which I deserve to die, I do not seek to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can give me up to them. I appeal to Caesar. If then I am a wrongdoer, and have committed anything for which I deserve to die, I do not seek to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can give me up to them. I appeal to Caesar. Then Festus, when he had conferred with his council, answered, To Caesar you have appealed, to Caesar you shall go. Then Festus, when he had conferred with his council, answered, To Caesar you have appealed, to Caesar you shall go. Then Festus, when he had conferred with his council, answered, To Caesar you have appealed, to Caesar you shall go. Then Festus, when he had conferred with his council, answered, To Caesar you have appealed, to Caesar you shall go. Then Festus, when he had conferred with his council, answered, To Caesar you have appealed, to Caesar you shall go. Now when some days had passed, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. Now when some days had passed, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. Now when some days had passed, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. Now when some days had passed, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. Now when some days had passed, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There's a man left prisoner by Felix. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There's a man left prisoner by Felix. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There's a man left prisoner by Felix. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, 
There's a man left prisoner by Felix. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There's a man left prisoner by Felix. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face, and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face, and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face, and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. The accuser stood up. They brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. The accuser stood up. They brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. The accuser stood up. They brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. The accuser stood up. They brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. The accuser stood up. They brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. Rather, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Rather, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Rather, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Rather, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Rather, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Being at a loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. Being at a loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. Being at a loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. 
being at a loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. Being at a loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, you will hear him. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, you will hear him. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, you will hear him. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, you will hear him. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, you will hear him. So on the next day, Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp, and they entered the audience hall with the military tribunes and the prominent men of the city. Then at the command of Festus, Paul was brought in. So on the next day, Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp, and they entered the audience hall with the military tribunes and the prominent men of the city. Then, at the command of Festus, Paul was brought in. So, on the next day, Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp, and they entered the audience hall with the military tribunes and the prominent men of the city. Then, at the command of Festus, Paul was brought in. So, on the next day, Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp, and they entered the audience hall with the military tribunes and the prominent men of the city. Then, at the command of Festus, Paul was brought in. So, on the next day, Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp, and they entered the audience hall with the military tribunes and the prominent men of the city. Then, at the command of Festus, Paul was brought in. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all who are present with us, you see this man, about whom the whole Jewish people petitioned me, both in Jerusalem and here, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all who are present with us, you see this man, about whom the whole Jewish people petitioned me, both in Jerusalem and here, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all who are present with us. You see this man, about whom the whole Jewish people petitioned me, both in Jerusalem and here, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all who are present with us. You see this man, about whom the whole Jewish people petitioned me, both in Jerusalem and here, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all who are present with us. You see this man, about whom the whole Jewish people petitioned me, both in Jerusalem and here, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. But I found that he had done nothing deserving death, and as he himself appealed to the emperor, I decided to go ahead and send him. But I found that he had done nothing deserving death, and as he himself appealed to the emperor, I decided to go ahead and send him. But I found that he had done nothing deserving death, and as he himself appealed to the emperor, I decided to go ahead and send him. 
but I found that he had done nothing deserving death, and as he himself appealed to the emperor, I decided to go ahead and send him. But I found that he had done nothing deserving death, and as he himself appealed to the emperor, I decided to go ahead and send him. But I have nothing definite to write to my lord about him, therefore I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that, after we have examined him, I may have something to write. But I have nothing definite to write to my lord about him, therefore I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that, after we have examined him, I may have something to write. But I have nothing definite to write to my lord about him, therefore I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that, after we have examined him, I may have something to write. But I have nothing definite to write to my lord about him, therefore I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that, after we have examined him, I may have something to write. But I have nothing definite to write to my lord about him, therefore I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that, after we have examined him, I may have something to write. For it seems to me unreasonable in sending a prisoner not to indicate the charges against him. For it seems to me unreasonable in sending a prisoner not to indicate the charges against him. For it seems to me unreasonable in sending a prisoner not to indicate the charges against him. For it seems to me unreasonable in sending a prisoner not to indicate the charges against him. For it seems to me unreasonable in sending a prisoner not to indicate the charges against him. Acts 25 Now three days after Festus had arrived in the province, he went up to Jerusalem from Caesarea, and the chief priests and the principal men of the Jews laid out their case against Paul, and they urged him, asking as a favor against Paul, that he summon him to Jerusalem, because they were planning an ambush to kill him on the way. Festus replied that Paul was being kept at Caesarea, and that he himself intended to go there shortly. So, said he, let the men of authority among you go down with me, and if there is anything wrong about the man, let them bring charges against him. After he stayed among them not more than eight or ten days, he went down to Caesarea, and the next day he took his seat on the tribunal and ordered Paul to be brought. When he had arrived, the Jews who had come down from Jerusalem stood around him, bringing many and serious charges against him that they could not prove. Paul argued in his defense, Neither against the law of the Jews, nor against the temple, nor against Caesar have I committed any offense. But Festus, wishing to do the Jews a favor, said to Paul, Do you wish to go up to Jerusalem and there be tried on these charges before me? But Paul said, I am standing before Caesar's tribunal, where I ought to be tried. To the Jews I have done no wrong, as you yourselves know very well. If then I am a wrongdoer, and have committed anything for which I deserve to die, I do not seek to escape death. But if there is nothing to their charges against me, no one can give me up to them. I appeal to Caesar. Then Festus when he had conferred with his counsel, answered, To Caesar you have appealed, to Caesar you shall go. Now when some days had passed, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There's a man left prisoner by Felix. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. I answered them that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up any one before the accused met the accusers face to face, and had opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. 
So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. When the accusers stood up, they brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. Rather, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who was dead, but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Being at a loss how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could send him to Caesar. Then Agrippa said to Festus, I would like to hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, you will hear him. So on the next day Agrippa and Bernice came with great pomp, and they entered the audience hall with the military tribunes and the prominent men of the city. Then at the command of Festus Paul was brought in, and Festus said, King Agrippa and all who are present with us, you see this man about whom the whole Jewish people petitioned me both in Jerusalem and here, shouting that he ought not to live any longer. But I found that he had done nothing deserving death, and as he himself appealed to the emperor, I decided to go ahead and send him. But I have nothing definite to write to my lord about him. Therefore, I have brought him before you all, and especially before you, King Agrippa, so that, after we have examined him, I may have something to write." for it seems to me unreasonable in sending a prisoner not to indicate the charges against him.